Good evening, I'm at MINT's Internet of Things conference in New Delhi and I'm sitting with Karthi Madhaswami who is the Managing Director of Qualcomm Ventures. Thank you so much for joining us today. So Karthi, I think firstly I want to understand from your perspective what does Internet of Things mean to you? I think the definition changes depending on who you ask. I think from where, how we look at it is that I think from PCs to mobiles, you know, things have been fundamentally digital and connected. I think all set of things which we don't think of as connected, when they get connected, we call it as Internet of Everything. So whether it is vehicles, whether it is home appliances, whether it is buildings, whether it is any appliance in the home, I think that's what we think of as um, Internet of Things. So anything in your default mindset wouldn't associate with connected things, they all kind of club into the category of Internet of Everything. And I think that's where we think everything is going, where anything that you see could be actually connected, could be controlled, or could be monitored, or could be observed. So. Okay. Now, I've been speaking to a lot of people here, and you know, there is a lot of challenge in actually implementing IoT enterprise-wide, whether it's financial in nature, it's human capital, it's technological. What do you think are the ways to cope with these challenges to actually successfully implement IoT? Actually, seeing a lot more initial adoption all happening at the industry enterprise level, more than the consumer level. So. Um, a floor, a manufacturing floor where machine doesn't have any access to the data, where now people can put a put a connectivity and then now can monitor it and then be able to control it, understand where it is uh, or how it's performing. Those all have immense value and that's where the initial adoption is. So I think probably we are the first generation, first version of IoT where people are trying to solve point problems. I think probably we need to go to the next level where more things are addressed and then it becomes a more... Uh, economic, uh, profitable uh, outcome for an uh, enterprise. I think that's where probably they need to go to the next step. So if you can give me an estimate of how many companies do you think are actually leading the way towards IoT and how many of them would be actually laggards and struggling to reach IoT? I'll focus on the startups because that's the ecosystem that I know. Um, IoT is, is an area that uh, big companies do, small companies do, but I'll focus on the startups. I think in startups, among startups, um, you know, there are always going to be different people trying to solve the problem in different ways, um, and only few ways will actually work out, or only one way would work out, and that is actually the beauty of it as well, because you need to solve, go approach the problem ten different ways to find out what's the right way. Um, so just the nature of the startup ecosystem itself, that many of the companies probably may not succeed, or they'll pivot away. So IoT is not going to be any different. Um, but I think what I what I'm actually enthused by is that. Um, a lot of the IoT is not actually about the hardware, but more about the, the software aspects of it, you know, um, how do you build a good system, and I think that capability is actually in India, you know, by doing software architectures and whatnot. So actually some of the solutions that are coming up in Indian companies are actually pretty good. So I think uh, this is one area we are actually bullish about that good solutions could come out of India because it's a lot about the software architecting and uh, building a very good system. So since you're so optimistic, what is your advice for entrepreneurs, especially in the startup space? I think because it's a lot more software and it's not um, clear what the value proposition is, it's also very fragmented. So every building automation, every uh, industrial automation, every shop floor automation, I see several companies and I cannot differentiate one from the other. So I think if you're a startup, that's probably where you need to focus on saying that, okay, why can't this be done by somebody else? Or why am I doing this in a much better way than anybody can do? I think that's probably the challenge going to be.